Okay, and we're back. And so what we have here, no surprise, we have an iPod Touch. Uh, so this is the previous generation. Uh, this is a 16 gig model, but the uh, the size of this is identical to the uh, the new models that were announced. So it's an accurate comparison. Of course, we have the Zoom. Uh, this is my Zoom 80, and then we have the uh, Zoom HD. So. This isn't really a fair comparison because, of course, the Zoom, the Zoom hard drive models, of course, it's going to be thicker, taller, you know, wider. But of course, this holds 80 gigs or 120 gigs, and this, of course, only holds 16 gigs. Um, but as you, you know, if, if you own one of these previous generation Zooms, you can see that you're you're saving, you know, quite a bit of space in terms of thickness and everything else. So definitely, uh, this is a lot more pocket friendly. And then this is the um, iPod Touch. And you know it's kind of interesting. Um, you know the iPod Touch is such a slim, small. It's it's a pretty small device in terms of you know its its thickness, and so you wouldn't. It, it's hard to uh, hold up an iPod Touch and think, oh, this is big. But it's kind of interesting, you know, when you when you compare it um, to the Zune, it's virtually you know it's 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 well, it's shorter and it's definitely less wide and it looks about the same thickness. I'll, I'll double check the specifications, but I think that the iPod Touch is maybe like one or two millimeters thinner. Uh, than the Zune HD, but I mean, frankly, they're both so slim, and because the Zune HD kind of cuts inward here, it's it's uh, I don't know, it just it just feels really really uh, slender in the hand. So that's about it for the size comparison. So as as you can see, the Zune HD uh, compares very favorably, uh, you know, with uh, with the iPod Touch, and of course, the fact that it has a 16 by 9 screen, I think is going to make it fantastic. Uh, for watching, um, you know, videos on, on uh, movies. Now, one of the kind of the downsides is that the Zune HD, um, unless I'm mistaken, and I don't think I am, it does not have a built-in speaker. So that's one advantage that the iPod Touch has over this particular device is that, of course, it uh, it lacks and it lacks its own built-in speaker. So you have to use headphones. And um, uh, I I actually like using my uh, my iPod Touch. Um, to uh, watch, you know, movie trailers and stuff like that, or even like YouTube videos, and I quite frequently I never even plug in the headphones. So I kind of wish the um, the Zoom HD uh, had that, but you know, it's it's a feature that they can hopefully add in a little bit later. It's also worth noting. Uh, now you, you you can't really see it here because not all the uh, the pivots are sort of showing up. But what you um, what you'll be able to do uh, after you synchronize it is that the marketplace will show up, and unless I'm pretty sure that uh, apps will also show up. So I'll be pr I'll be doing a, a separate video on apps once I once I actually synchronize it. But it's important to note that. Microsoft has actually stated that uh, they're actually going to be releasing a calculator app and a weather app. And what that means, of course, is that the Zune is now going to be able to do apps like the iPod Touch. The iPod Touch and the iPhone, obviously, they have a huge, massive lead on the Zune in terms of the number of apps. But Microsoft, you know, by even doing a couple of simple apps, they're basically saying to the world, okay, hey, you know, we're, we're serious about apps. We're actually going to start doing apps. Now, how quickly that evolves, how quickly, you know, there's an app store, all those questions are frankly unknowns right now. And I really hope that Microsoft does take it seriously because apps on this device, frankly, are really what make it an interesting device. I was initially, I wasn't that excited about, you know, apps. I kind of thought, ah, oh, is it really going to matter, but honestly, I really enjoy just loading up the apps on the app store on, on this device and just flipping through, you know, and kind of checking it out. So, all right, so that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to check one other thing here just to kind of verify to see if I if I press and hold what's on the picture. Okay, well that doesn't do anything. I guess the question is is uh, how do you um, how do you uh, change the wallpaper? You know, like are you able to you know, uh, press and hold on this device, on, on this picture to enable to do something. And, uh, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, yeah, definitely going to have to figure that out. One of those things I'll add in after I shoot, after I uh, edit the video. So this has been Jason Dunn from Zoom Thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed this very preliminary look at the Zoom HD. Uh, of course, watch Zoom Thoughts for lots more info about the Zoom HD. Watch uh, my YouTube channel, uh, you know, for other videos about the Zoom HD. I'm going to be delving into a lot of detail about this particular device. We're going to be looking at some of the uh, accessories as soon as I can get my hands on a cradle. We'll do, you know, a kind of a live demo of how the uh, the HD video out works and all sorts of stuff. So everything Zoom HD, keep watching Zoom Thoughts and this channel on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and uh, leave a um, uh, leave a rating. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much.